I just got my 100th platinum trophy after eight plus years of trophy hunting. So let's take a look at some of my favorites, the ones I really enjoyed and the ones I really didn't enjoy. And if you pay close attention, you might even notice a pattern in which ones I got. My first actual platinum was Rocket League all the way back in 2016. And I only needed a few more trophies to actually get this platinum, but I came across this because two of my classmates were actually trophy hunters. And after chatting along, they convinced me to actually go for the platinum. And I was like, why not? So I did it, and ever since, I've been completely hooked. My second ever platinum was Battlefield 4, probably my all-time favorite multiplayer game. I put over 3,000 hours in this game. Because I suddenly got into trophy hunting, I decided to go for the platinum. You have to finish the story maybe three times, I think. But it's such a good game. I absolutely love this game. And if I would go over every single game individually, we'd probably be here for over an hour. So I'm just going to talk briefly about a few games in between. Tabletop Racing is a great game. I really liked it. I think it was free on PlayStation Plus at some point. Really enjoyed that. It has a few multiplayer trophies, but it's not too difficult. Assassin's Creed Syndicate was actually my first ever Assassin's Creed game. Really enjoyed that London setting. There's one trophy though that where you need to destroy I think 5,000 objects and that was a little bit of a grind but it's a great game. Battlefield Hardline I absolutely loved. Went for this as well. Pretty difficult trophy list actually but it's really good. I did the infamous first light DLC before I actually played Second Sun. And then we have the Uncharted collection. This is actually a really fun trilogy and I completed the first game in like two days or something over the weekend, but it's so much fun. And I have a few other Uncharted games up here, which you'll see in a bit. But next up we have Battlefield 1. And as I said, I'm an absolute diehard Battlefield fan, but this game just wasn't it for me, unfortunately. Because I played Battlefield 4 competitively, I went for Battlefield 1 competitively as well but it just didn't hit the same. It's visually stunning and it's super immersive, but the gameplay, unfortunately for me, wasn't it. And then skipping over a few games, which I never got a platinum for, I'd love to, but they just seem too difficult or I haven't gone back for them. We have Need for Speed. The first racing game I played, got it back in 2017 and it's just, I actually really enjoyed this Need for Speed. The Walking Dead, um, I got season two before this, which was interesting because I didn't understand anything in season two. So I went back for The Walking Dead season one, which actually does have a platinum. And I mean, it's a telltale game, so it's super simple. You just finish it, but it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking. Next up, we have Horizon Zero Dawn, which I also thought was a really good game. Really enjoyed that, such fun gameplay. And actually, I really like the story more than the gameplay, actually. I got the second one as well, which you'll see later. Goat Simulator, I mean, what what, 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 do I, what do I say about this? It's it's Goat Simulator. Another Telltale game, Tales from the Borderlands. It, it's just simple. Killing Floor 2, I would have loved to have gone for, but um, it's a little bit too difficult. It's multiplayer, and we all know what multiplayer means, so haven't done that. We've got The Witcher 3, which I thought I was absolutely gonna love, and I didn't. I didn't like the setting wasn't a big fan and so never really went back for it i want to try another cd project red game in the future but i haven't done that this game we don't even talk about didn't even know just cause was it there then we have another one and this one's actually really interesting because this was the telltale game again so it's super simple but it took me a while because i was so drained out on trophy hunting at this point that it, I, I really had to force myself into getting this platinum I didn't really enjoy the story, so I wasn't encouraged enough to go for it. But after this, I stopped trophy hunting for a few years. And what happened was that I went back to Battlefield. I started playing Battlefield again, playing that competitively. And at some point, Apex came out, started playing that religiously, which I still do to this day. Um, but I got out of trophy hunting until I think maybe two years before we jump into the next game which is actually Marvel Spider-Man. And as you can see, this is 2020. It's been over three years since I got my last Platinum Trophy at this point. But luckily I bought this game and wanted to finish it. And for some reason, at that point, I was triggered. I was like, hey, I only need a few more trophies for the Platinum. So I had to grind out all these crime waves before they spawned. And when I finally got this, I was like, yo, what have, what have I been doing? Why didn't I go back trophy hunting? 
So I immediately looked at my backlog and went for a few other trophies. I went for the crew too. Uh, the next day I did, well, we don't speak about that. I went for Uncharted 4, which was also had to do this one. See, four year difference between the first and last trophy. I mean, it's a great game. I made a video on this, by the way, if you want to check it out. And then we have Infamous Second Son, which was the base game. And I already played the DLC for that. Uh, really fun. Got my first Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, simple, just finish the campaign. There's one trophy here though. I think it's this game, right? Where you have to do the Mile High Club. Yep, this trophy. If you're trying to platinum this game, don't give up, but it's so annoying. Game of Thrones, I'm a massive Game of Thrones fan, so I thought this was going to be amazing. But as you can see, I tried to platinum this game back in 2017, but had to go back and clean up because I got kind of bored of trophy hunting. But um, I didn't really enjoy the story, unfortunately. It's a little different, cool, but not enough. The Deadly Tower of Monsters, don't even know what this game is, but super simple platinum. I really want to get the Detroit Platinum at some point, but you have to play through it like three times in doing all these choices and that's kind of tedious. So I promise I'm going to go for this trophy again, but uh, it's going to have to wait. Battlefield 5 is next. Um, yeah, you know my point on Battlefield by now. There is one trophy if you're going for it. That's going to be really annoying. And that is this trophy. And if you're doing, if you're going for it, just do this with a boosted partner. It's going to be so much easier. It's really difficult to do this in game. A free Lego game had to go for that. Absolutely loved this Lego stuff. Um, really close to the six siege platinum. I also have the PS5 version. You'll see that in a bit. I just have to sit and go for this. But I, I bought this game right before Apex came out and never really returned to it. Uh, Minecraft. Well, I mean, everyone's played Minecraft. I played this religiously on PC when I was younger. So when I got the PS4 version, I just went straight for the Platinum. And the tedious trophy here is 100 days. And I just went AFK for that. I have to admit, just went AFK to get that trophy. Another Call of Duty game, nothing too interesting. And then The Last of Us Remastered and Part 2. This game, I made a video on it. Check it out if you haven't already. This game is so good. I, I, I don't have words for it. It's just so good. It, it's just so good then part two doesn't disappoint it's it just continues the insane story especially if you've seen hbo's adaptation then it's it's fantastic i'm going for the grounded mode and permadeath actually hope to get that done south park is just more south park nothing really too interesting another assassin's creed game which is really tedious because of all the collectibles and places you have to visit but whatever Control is a really interesting game because it's just, it's, it's weirdly interesting. Fall Guys, I am not even going to attempt this Platinum. Uh, respect to anyone who has, absolutely, congratulations, saluting you. But um, five wins in a row, absolutely, absolutely not, not even going to attempt it. Bioshock games, those are great. Then we have Sleeping Dogs, which is severely underrated in my opinion. I really like this game, especially the pork bun, whole man, whatever the quote is. Fantastic. Loved it. God of War. I am going to admit, I didn't love, love this game like some people. And I never played the original trilogy. So I'm waiting to get Ragnarok, but um, I will platinum that game, obviously. But I haven't, I'm, I'm not the biggest God of War fan. Then we have my last ever Platinum on PS4, Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Shows that we can have games without Nathan Drake. Um, like that, going for the uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy actually soon. So that'll be fun. And then PS5 came out. Holy, this game, I do not even have words for it. It is so, so good if you're a playstation fan you'll love this and if you're a trophy hunter it's super simple it's got a fun platinum i i don't i don't have words for it i had to get the dlc obviously bug snacks was free with it at the time then we have days gone and ratchet and clank from the ps plus collection great games was actually my first ratchet and clank and days gone was really fun especially with all the hordes you have to play it was it was it was fun 
If you're playing Ratchet and Clank though, make sure you make everyone dance, all the enemies I think, because if you don't, you're gonna have to go for another playthrough, so keep that in mind. Man Eater, whatever, don't really care about that game. Titanfall 2 restored my love for Apex, that's all I can say. The movement, gunplay, story, everything aligns perfectly in this game. Some people have a lot of difficulty with this trophy, um, but if you use a scuff controller or anything else with back buttons, like I do, um, that can really help you out. If you don't have access to one of those controllers, uh, just change your button layout to L2 to jump or L1 to jump, which can really make a difference. Concrete Genie was whatever, don't really care. Wanted to go for the GTA 3 Platinum, but the controls in that are horrendous, so didn't go for that. But then we have Red Dead Redemption 2, arguably my favorite ever Platinum. It took a while to get this one, but it's so good. It's, it's the details in this game, the story, the gameplay, it's all just so good. I, I really don't have words for it. Just make sure you study and scan every animal when you're going for this from the start, because that will save you a lot of time in the end. And then moving on from Red Dead, which took me a while, I wanted to go for Quick Platinum, so I went for Maquette at the time, which is a cute love story puzzle game. It's quite fun, but it's nothing too interesting. Life is Strange, I never want to play a Life is Strange game again. It's so ridiculously cringy in my opinion. It's just a teen story. I, it's, su it's super simple. So it's not that, but it's just not fun. Got the PS5 version of Control again. Not an auto pop, not an auto pop. Uh, played this again and I really liked it. It runs so much better on that version. It's pretty crazy. A few games that I didn't get a plan for because they were too difficult or I didn't have a partner. And then this is my 50th, my 50th Platinum. It was kind of like a nudge towards everyone that was getting shovelware Platinums. But considering what that is, my name is my Mayo, to what Shovelware is right now, this is a fully fledged AAA game compared to those. It's actually not that bad and you might see a pattern if you stay along, but um, I actually quite enjoyed that game. Immortals Phoenix Rising, I also made a video on, make sure to check that out. And I really like the cartoony aesthetic that this game has. And then along with the super simple gameplay and collectibles, it's actually a really fun experience. Subnautica, not even gonna lie, I went for this in dev mode. I tried to do this the legitimate way, but I just couldn't get into the game. And because I had that one unlocked trophy, I had to get this off my trophy list. So I just did dev mode. I hate to admit it, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Blade Tale Innocence really surprised me. Actually a really good game. Until dawn, I had to do this again because I wasn't going for the platinum at the time. So this was a... Um, one that I had to go back for and it was it was actually quite good but you have to pay attention that you have to finish it like three times I think maybe two could be wrong and I'm a Star Wars fan so I had to do Jedi Fallen Order can't wait for the next game Survivor to come out um great game terrible platinum screenshot though uh that kind of sucks Next up, Rage 2, and at the time of playing this, I actually had a broken arm. My thumb was broken and my entire arm was in a cast, which made gaming really difficult. But you know, I'm an addicted trophy hunting nerd, so I had to get this anyway, but ruined my controller in the process of that. But that's for a different story. Undertale, I thought this game had such high praise that I decided to try it out. Also because it had an easy platinum, but I didn't enjoy this game. It's this 8-bit style, but it wasn't for me. Overcooked. This is hilarious if you're playing this with friends. Uh, there's one trophy you do need to keep an eye out for, which you need four players for. So either make sure you have three other friends or you want to do what I did, which was with one friend, message randoms and hope they join you to do one trophy where you have to pass fish along or something. So that was a little bit annoying, but it was a great experience. It was so funny. Need for Speed Heat, uh, racing game, not much to say about that. Uh, then we have Rocket League, which I got a few DLC trophies for. And then we have the Spyro Trilogy. Never played the original trilogy on PlayStation 2. So I had to do this or on PlayStation 1 actually. Uh, so I went for this and well, I can see why people love Spyro. Um, it's really fun. It's just super simple and outdated gameplay, but because of that, it makes it really charming. Um, which we had to do a different trophy for this in the meantime, which was Battlefield 2042. This game is ridiculously sh bad, excuse my language. Yeah, I'm a Battlefield fan, so I was really hyped for this, especially with that trailer and everything, but 
the game just isn't it. It's definitely not an easy platinum. So if you're going for this, watch out for the hazard zone trophies. I don't even know if that's still alive. So get that as soon as possible, especially now that it's on PlayStation Plus at the time, it's going to be much more alive. And the other one you want to watch out for is 2,500 kills with weapons and vehicles. You're going to want to try and farm them as much as possible, but you can also use bot lobbies for that. So check out a guide for to see which trophies are available to do in bot lobbies, but that can save you a lot of time. Next up, we have Marvel Spider-Man. Great game. That's all I can say. More Spider-Man. I mean, it's great. Then we have Rainbow Six Siege, which I really need to get this platinum for. I only need like two more trophies, which is get five flawless victories in ranked and get, I think it was a win with every round in, with base operators. Yeah, this, this trophy. I need to go back for it, but I, I haven't been able to get back in the Six Siege. Haven't played it too much, but um, yeah, need to do that one. Then we have two of the greatest games you can possibly play with someone else. Co-op games in this are a lot of fun, and especially It Takes Two. Even if your partner that you're playing with isn't a gamer, this is so simple, so fun, so cute, so lovely, so wholesome. You just can't go wrong with this game. It's so good. It's it's so good. Deservedly game of the year. Dirt 5, if you're going for this platinum, um, search up like some boosted map like this. You can find them in the search uh, and then use a rubber band to just get the amount of 5,000 miles or something ridiculous that you need. Um, that's the only tip I have for that. Ghost of Tsushima is so good. It is beautiful. Like, it is beautiful. It's probably one of the best platinum experiences you can get because the collectibles and everything are so well paced and it, it just fantastic. Fantastic. Got another LEGO DC games, probably the best LEGO game. Then we have Ghost Runner, which is... I never see anyone talk about this game, but the movement in this game is so good. It's so addicting. It's definitely difficult to get into, but I like my first person shooter games. Well, this isn't a shooter, but same same idea. It's just so good. It's so addictingly fun. Then we have Apex Legends. Well, that's not a platinum, but I got that obviously because I play a ton of it. We have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This game was a pain and a half. As you can see, I needed mastery points and you needed 400 skill points before you unlock the mastery point. But because of all the DLC they released in later years, they bumped that mastery level up a ton, which means I had to do some of the most tedious grinding I've ever done to unlock a few more mastery points. I, I just, besides the 800 or so collectibles, that was so incredibly painful. So I had to go for SpongeBob SquarePants, which was a really simple game. Definitely a lot of collectibles as well, I think. Um, but I mean, it's SpongeBob. What else can you say? It's a remake. But this game, however, I'm a Star Wars fan and I like my Lego. So this was perfect. I waited for this game for so long, but it got delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and nothing was heard from it until it finally dropped and I just wow no words for it so good i loved everything the story the collectibles the side missions everything about this game loved it absolutely loved it the last campfire is a cute game um and then we have well you can probably guess my 75th platinum which is my name is mayo the second yeah that that's basically it. it's me my name is mayo it's the same as the first one Horizon Forbidden West made a video on this if you want to check it out. Fortunately, don't have a video for this because my game corrupted, which was fun, but uh, great game. Didn't like it as much as the first game, personally, but it's so good. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Death's Door. I heard this got great reviews, so I had to check it out. And this was more difficult than I expected because I never really play these types of games. But um, the Umbrella Run, if you're trying to go for that, uh, it's not too difficult eventually once you play through it once it's definitely not too difficult You can do this in one playthrough, but I don't recommend you. stray my goodness I'm not a cat person. I'm a dog person, but this cat game is wonderful. Just it's so Strangely wholesome loving Warm, I don't really know what what to describe it, but it's just wonderful I really want to get the physical edition for this just because I love the art and everything else, it's, it's really fun. Deliver Us the Moon, nothing really special about this game. 
yeah, to be honest, I'm not really sure what to show about that game. Another Lego game, same as always, Lego game. Then we had this game, I had this on my wish list for a really long time, so I finally bought it, and well, it didn't disappoint. Um, but I did my collectibles in one playthrough because I couldn't, the, the movement was too slow for me to want to do another playthrough. But the story is really, really good. I'm actually excited for, uh, for the second one, the sequel. This game, I've said this about a few games now and I apologize, but this game is so ridiculously good. If you haven't played this, what are you doing? Like, check this out. If you like shooting and you like movement like I do, and you like exploration and weirdly sci-fi mystery games, this game is just incredible. Just incredible. Just make sure that you're getting all the ciphers when you're exploring because that's what cost me probably another two or three hours before I finally found the one I was looking for, which was annoying. But I also went for the tower DLC trophies because I really couldn't get enough of this game. I had to get an easy one in the meantime, uh, Toem. Um, yeah, not, not too interesting. Pretty simple photography game. Got the DLC on that. Bio Mutant. Wanted to check this out a really long time. So I did that. It's not an easy game, or it's not a difficult game at all, um, but it's not a great game. The story doesn't make any sense to me, and the gameplay is pretty standard, but it's fun, it looks cute. I mean, it's not a bad game, it's just not great. Deathloop disappointed me. I was expecting more of this game, but it was free on PlayStation Plus something, so I had to check it out. I expected more of this, but um, it's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty fun. Kana Bridge of Spirits, cute AF. That's really all I can say. The Platinum Trophy, however, if you want to go for it, I tried it on the Mastery difficulty, but I couldn't. So I did the glitch. Yes, hate me for it. I did the glitch. Yeah, hate to admit it. It's still possible, I think. Next up, we have Hot Wheels, which isn't too interesting. It's just a really simple racing game. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, more tedious collectibles. Tedious collectibles, that's all I can say. Then we have What Remains of Edith Finch. I, I heard this game for such a long time that it got such good reviews. It's one of the best story written games ever. And it, well, I, I'm, I'm repeating myself so often. It didn't disappoint. It's beautiful, just lovely, lovely. Sackboy, yeah, it's, it's Sackboy, but there's one trophy at the end where you have to complete like this speed run. Just keep going if you're trying to go for this platinum. Just keep, just keep trying. You'll get there eventually. It, it's going to take more tries than is necessary, but um, it's not too bad. Bunny Raiders is a free platinum game, so um, check that out if you want to. You can do this on your own or with friends. It's it's just simple. It takes like an hour or so. It's just too easy. Uh, we have the Pedestrian, which doesn't have a platinum, but I really wanted to check it out. We have a Short Hike, which is a cute indie game, which looks super cute, but it's a short platinum. Not much else to say for it, except for there's a few collectibles. Then we have Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, which um, I like my Lego and I like my Star Wars. So I like Lego Star Wars and I like this game. It's more of the same though. Every Lego game is the same. Then we have two easy Platinums. Well, I, I say easy, but they're actually short. I wouldn't, this one was easy and short. Maybe a half hour it took me. Um, but then the second one took me much longer because I thought they were super simple and easy, but um this one took me like two hours or something ridiculous and um it wasn't actually that easy so um don't call this shovelware it's actually quite difficult omno was also free on playstation plus i think really cute it reminded me of like this avatar game that someone's building because it just looks and feels that way but it's super simple only like four hours i think so yeah and then we have one of my most proud platinums i guess uh, this game, GTA 5, um, doesn't need an introduction, but I wanted this Platinum for so long. I was putting it off like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. But at some point I was just like, yes, now we go for it. And I never really played this game. So I had to do the online trophies as well. And that was the biggest grind or something or trophy that put me off. Multiplayer was actually quite fun with all the businesses and races and everything. I, I, I was really enjoying it. So when I went back to play the uh, story, actually, yeah, it was, it got me so excited for GTA 6. Like, I don't even know what to say. The only thing that I didn't like for this Platinum was the 100% where you have to collect all of those 
stunt jumps, letter scraps, submarine parts, I don't even know what else. But after you finish the story and you're going for that, it is so ridiculously boring. It, it, it's just so boring. But I loved it. So proud of it. Super happy with it. Wonderful. Lovely. See, for you was so incredibly difficult, but I liked it. I did play on the easy mode after a while because some of those bosses were really absolutely destroying me. So hate me for that. But um, or I find my difficulty in gaming with multiplayer trophies uh, because I play a lot of multiplayer FPS games. So I like to do my platinums fairly simple or at least not destroying my soul. So I had to go for a simple platinum in the meantime, which was uh, another Lego game. I mean, it's, it's Lego, doesn't need an introduction. It's fairly simple, it's fairly straightforward, and it's cool, it's got a lot of Easter eggs in there. Check it out if you haven't already. Then we have my 100th Platinum Trophy. Yes, my name is Mayo3. I hope, I really hope that um, I can redeem myself with all the previous 97 Platinums that I have, but I just thought this was such a cool nudge towards all the shovelware that was happening at the time, but now shovelware just looks like in second platinums this one actually took over an hour and it was it, it sort of felt like a nudge towards um all the platinum hunters that actually get shovelware so i thought it was kind of funny but yeah that's 100 platinum trophies eight plus years in the making and 12 plus if you count from when the account was made but the grind doesn't stop we're going for 110 125 150 200 platinums next because there are still so many games i want to play my backlog just keeps growing and I'm currently working on Minecraft Dungeons which is almost finished and Ghost Story Tokyo which is a lot of fun but so much more I already have lined up it's just too much actually my love for trophy hunting may long continue because I love this hobby I love the community that we have it's it's such an enjoyable experience being able to experience different games different genres trying games you wouldn't normally it's fantastic so let me know if you have any questions about certain trophies or suggestions for games I should platinum or whatnot and share them in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed this and found some inspiration yourself. And that's it. See ya.